literally just got back from the grocery store. I'm looking for senior and not some late. I just got back from the grocery store. Hopefully you can hear me, but I'm gonna do a grocery haul really quick. I went to two different places. Um and you may hear my daughter in the background, but let's go First, ahead. This start. table is full of Sam's Club. I have my receipt so I can tell you guys the prices. So uh let's see. Let's start here. The first thing we got was uh two cartons of a uh, farm fresh large eggs. And those were a dollar sixty-six a piece. It's a different order before the video. But the next thing was the uh, Quaker Oats. This was ten dollars. Um, we mixed this with we mixed one pack of these with just plain oatmeal for her. So this should last us a very long time. I'm just gonna go here. So then we have cheese. I bought this big old thing because I have family coming this weekend, and we're having nachos, and then we're gonna have spaghetti. So I figured this should last, this should be enough plus for us to live, plus for us to live after they okay, leave. So then I, I bought this, which we opened in the store because my daughter wanted one right away. Um, so this cost us, let's see, oh, we had to go back and get it. It was, this one was $7. I'm like rounding up, it was really six seventy eight, but that was $7. I know this, uh, the butter, was $5. These we bought, this is for the weekend, and hopefully I have some leftover for snacks for my daughter. But I bought these right here for $5 a piece. So it's the cheddar and sour cream ruffles, Doritos, the regular nacho Doritos, which is probably, this is probably going to be um, also with the nachos I'm making tonight. And then the Cheetos, and I also bought a big bag of these for the nachos tonight, just in case somebody wanted tortillas. So these were five a piece, and then this was six. Uh, then we have, I don't know if I did this already or not, but then we have the Golgurts, which were, uh, where are you, $7. Um, we bought, I bought some breakfast sausages because... I bought the individually one, individual ones because I didn't want to have to, like, I don't know. They just seemed a lot easier. So I bought these, and those are the Jimmy Bean fully cooked original pork sausage patties. And we paid $8 for that. And uh, we got a sample of these. You know how when you're at Sam's Club, if you have a Sam's Club near you, when you go shop at Sam's Club, there's a lot of people standing around with samples. So we got a sample of these. The lady said she put them in the oven. Um, they're the Tyson Crispy Chicken Strips. When my daughter eats chicken, she loves chicken strips. And then my husband and I love chicken strips as well. So we paid $14 for this bag. And let's see. This is a 3.5 pound bag. Uh, then my daughter loves pepperoni, which she calls them pizza, and we always buy the individual packs that be like, like probably that small if you can see. Hey, yeah, million. Probably like this small uh -huh. over here. So we usually pay two dollars per thing, hey, yeah, but for this big thing we paid. Like that for this, and I skipped some stuff. This is also my husband's. These 
his favorite lemonade is, well, he likes strawberry lemonade, but he also likes the raspberry lemonade from Simply. So this is, this is $4. And then this thing of oil, because I'll be frying chicken this weekend. This is vegetable oil. This was, uh, I think it was $7. I got my spinach wraps, which were $3. So this was six dollars. That was for the adults, and then I got for the kids some Capri Suns, which were eight dollars. And then we bought this because we drink cappuccino a lot instead of like plain coffee. We drink cappuccino. So this is a variety pack by Daily Chef. It has uh, they they're the K cups. We have the Keurig. This is the cappuccino, uh, hazel, 24 hazelnuts, 24 French vanilla, and 24 caramel. 72 cups total, and we paid $21 for this. So this should last us so long because I drink coffee every day. My husband drinks coffee, like, probably every blue moon. He doesn't drink it that much. But when he does, this is the kind he likes, and he goes for the French vanilla kind. Okay, so that's it for Sam's Club, I believe. Yep, that's it for Sam's Club. Now we're going to do the Walmart groceries. Okay, so from Walmart, here's my receipts. Okay, so first we bought, I bought uh, the spaghetti, for the noodles for the spaghetti that I'm going to make tomorrow. These were uh, $1 a piece. I bought some waffle mix for breakfast in the morning, and this was $1.68. I bought uh, these. These are for Sunday dinner. I'm going to just make some breakfast sandwiches, and these were $2 a piece. I like egg whites instead of regular eggs, and I always use this one. This is the all white, um, a cholesterol and fat-free food. Um, it says equivalent to 20 eggs. I used to buy a small one, but I just started buying this one, which were, which is, I think this was like five, six dollars. A thing of lettuce for the tacos tonight, which was, I believe I'm going to pay like two dollars for this. Some green onions because, um, I'll need these to cook with and also my best friend likes them on her tacos. And this was, just, this thing right here was 58 cents. I bought the Prego three cheese uh, sauce for the spaghetti, and these were $2 a piece. I bought some Taco Bell seasoning. These were $0.60 cent a piece. This is the wings for tomorrow night. And these were $10 for this. Uh, chicken breast. This is just for my family, like after the other family leaves. This is just for the house. And this bag, this is a 10 pound bag for $20. So I bought soft and hard tacos for tonight when everyone gets here. And let's see, the soft were $1.98 and then the hard were $2. Also, I bought this big old thing. This is for tonight, uh, tacos, tomorrow's spaghetti, and so this should last us so long. Um, this is just all natural ground beef. 73% lean, 27% fat, and this cost me $20 as well. And I think that's it for the food. Oh. I did have to grab some other things. I'll just throw this in there as well. I bought some washcloths for everybody that's coming. I'm about to go ahead and throw these in the washer right now and fold them. Make sure that people have clean washcloths. But these I paid $4 for. This is from Walmart as well. I ran out of lotion. So this was $6. And just in case someone forgets some soap, I tried to buy a mild soap because I know like uh, my family has really sensitive skin, so I, I don't know. I don't use this, but it was $0.98 cent for two, and it was this Dow. And then I didn't have any hand soap in the bathrooms, so I bought two. Um, these are for the guest bathroom. 
these were 98 cent a piece. So this is Brazilian Blossom. I actually love the way they smell. And then this is for our bathroom because we, we've run out in there as well. So this is the Milk and Golden Honey. So they were 98 cent. We ran out of Q-tips. So I bought some of these and this was $3 for this. And how many come in here? 300 comes in here. So that was $3. And I just need a little thing of Listerine, which was a dollar, I think. A dollar or two dollars. Oh, and then sauce for tonight, which was like two dollars. Oh, and uh, a coffee cup, which says, it's a spill-proof design, but the front of it says, girls just want to have fun. That's what it looks like. And I really, really need a new coffee cup. So, uh, like a travel coffee cup. So, that's it. Uh, I don't even know how much I spent overall. So, I spent about $238 on just the food. And then the other stuff came up to about $20. So, that's it for this uh, grocery haul. If you liked it, make sure you subscribe for more. I post videos weekly. Thumbs up if you want more grocery hauls. I, I'll probably do them monthly. Uh, and that's it. So I'll see you guys later.